All right, here with Lucas Taylor. Lucas, um, what has it been like just to get back out and play? I know um, it's obviously yeah. been a while with the coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, it's been really, really good uh, getting back with my team. Uh, we were really excited to get back to it, just get back in the group of things, working on my game, making sure that all the stuff I've been doing in the gym, things like that is paying off. So just, just continue showing how it's shown to pay off, things like that has been, been really good. What, you talked about being in the gym. What have you been working on specifically over the past few months kind of in isolation? Is there any specific parts of your game you've been trying to hone yeah. or focus in on? Yeah, I've seen my handle a lot. I've been working on that a lot, trying to get that tighter still, trying to get it even more tighter. And then just hitting threes, working consistently is big on the next level because um, everyone wants someone that can shoot. So just making sure that um, I'm hitting threes. And even when I'm not, that I'm creating for my teammates and things like that because sometimes the shot's not going to fall. So. I asked DeMarco the same thing, but if, if you know, for people who haven't seen you play yet, what is kind of the strengths of your game? What yeah. do you kind of base your game off of? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm a really good shooter, can score on all three levels, uh, finish above the rim as well. He used my length on defense a lot too to get the skills, deflections, things like that for sure. I noticed during that game, one thing I was really noticing about your game, even when the shots weren't falling, you were very vocal, kind of a leadership. You were talking to other guys, trying to direct other. Is that something you really try to hone in on and really focus on, yeah. on no yeah. matter what's going on in terms of your game? During? Yeah, for sure, because you're going to have games being someone that can shoot where like your shots aren't falling. I was like 0 for 4, 0 for 5 beginning in the game. So you always got to find stuff that you can do to kind of help your team out. And so that's really what Big Me and Marco focus on, being leaders of the team. Just when our shots not falling, just getting guys involved, talking, being vocal, and then just keep shooting. It's going to fall eventually. How's your recruitment process been going? I know obviously the shutdown kind of affected it. You probably haven't been able to visit anywhere in a while and stuff like that. But how, how's your recruitment been going over the past you know, year or so? Yeah, it's been going pretty good. I mean, for me, I didn't have any offers till 2020. I got mm -hmm. two in February and then in the, like around April time, started kind of picking up, going up. So just coaches watching a lot of film right now at this time, just kind of checking me out, things like that, and just, mm -hmm. just building relationships there has been the biggest part. I understand you've been a little bit in contact with, with some UNC coaches. What's that been like just to hear from, you know, such a you know, prestigious program like that? What, what's those conversations been like for you? Yeah, it's been really good um, being in state, talking to Coach Robinson. Uh, Coach Frederick, all those guys, um, just getting to build the relationship with them mm -hmm. and kind of what they're about. Um, they're really good at uh, what they do, so just being able to kind of talk to them and pick their brains apart has, uh, has been great for sure. What have they told you specifically about your game that they like? Is there anything they told you, you know, specifically about yeah. it? Yeah, I would say the size for sure, being like 6'6 guard, uh, being a big guard is big for them. Uh, that they really fit with that category. Like Puff is like 6'8", playing on the wing, so he really fits with them and being able to shoot and uh, get some passes as well has been one of the main things. Do you know any guys on the roster right now? Yeah, yeah. I know I know Dayron. Dayron played with Gunnar Rose, so um, he, he's there now for 2020, mm -hmm. so uh, we're close friends for sure. When I know you said you haven't really started getting offers to this year, but is there any? Uh, you still got ways to go, but is there any timeline or the decision date? I know you. Is it pretty wide open right now for the most yeah, part? Yeah, it's pretty open. Um, just seeing how uh, the NCAA kind of does the coronavirus thing. If we can take uh, business in September, I'm definitely trying and, and, and do that. But uh, if not, then around that time, September, I'm gonna see uh, if I can make a decision without kind of getting on the campuses and things like that.